So your edit is almost finished, but still something feels off. You're wasting hours and hours only to realize that sound design is a real problem. Audio is so much more important than you might think. It's the cheese to your macaroni, the Robin to your Batman, and the audio to your video. Today you'll learn three tricks from easy to advanced to help you improve your sound. Starting with the first effect, editing your music more smoothly. I downloaded this song from Audio, which is the sponsor of today's video, but more about that later. Now, to make it fade out, you can simply trim the clip and add a constant power fade to it. But that's boring, right? Instead, we're gonna use some reverb to make the fade out more professional. To do that, set a cut right before a harsh sound like a kick or snare drum. Then make sure to extend the clip. The longer you extend it, the longer the duration of the reverb can be. Now, if you can't extend it any further, simply duplicate the audio by holding Alt and dragging it next to the first one. Then select them and right click it. Choose Nest. Call it Song Extension or something. Then click OK. Now, if the waveform disappears, right click it and choose Render and Replace. That should fix it. Now, right after the cut, set a level keyframe on the clip. Move a little further and set another one. Now, drag it all the way down to zero. That makes the sound short and snappy. Next, go to the effects library and find the convolution reverb effect. Drag it on the clip and head over to the effect controls. To open up the reverb, click on edit. Now from the preset list, choose bitter hallway. With the mix slider, you can mix the volume between the dry signal, which is the original sound, and the wet signal, which is the reverb. That sounds awesome. And now let's get to effect number two. This is a clip of me watching a video on a laptop. The sound coming from the laptop doesn't really sound like laptop speakers. Something else and choose a format. I recommend. Now, luckily, I know a way to recreate that effect. Go to the effect library and find the parametric equalizer. Drag it on the audio clip and head over to the effect controls. To open up the EQ, click on edit. What you see here is a frequency spectrum that us humans can hear. Or something else and choose a format. On the left side, we have the sub and bass frequencies. On the right side the high frequencies and in between we will find the mids. Now we can use this to read frequencies of a sound but we can also cut and boost some of them. A laptop speaker is usually very harsh and lacks a lot of bass. So enable the high pass filter and drag the point all the way to the right. That will cut away the bass frequency so it will sound just like a laptop. Or something else and choose a format. Now because of the distance between the laptop and the camera the higher frequencies will also be cut off a little bit. So enable the low pass as well and cut away the super high frequencies. And that already Already sounds great, but now to top it off, we can actually use reverb to match the room reflections. In the effect library, find the convolution reverb again. Drag it on the audio clip and go to the effect controls. Then to open up the reverb, click on edit. They actually have some very nice preset and I find the classroom to work very well. Now with the mix slider, we can again balance the amount of dry and wet sound. Or something else and choose a format. There you go. That sounds awesome. Now you're probably wondering where I find music to edit my videos. Let me tell you my secret. My music and sound effects all come from audio, where you can find the exact song you need in just a few clicks. With the filters, you can choose a mood, genre, even a type of instrument. And if I'm looking for background music, this instrumental toggle really saves my life every time. You can actually create your very own playlist and make a collection of music that you like. Speaking of playlists, they have a lot of them. They actually created a brand new one called Audio Originals. It's a collaboration collaboration with the top industry music producers who are actually focused on making music for us creators. I mean, the music is literally made for you, and this is something you won't find anywhere else. Beside music, you can also find thousands of sound effects. Most of the time, I don't even search for them because with the categories, you'll find whatever you need in no time. Now, they actually have a lifetime music subscription, and by using the code Premier Basics LT, you can get it for only $199 for a lifetime subscription. My uh, lifetime. It sounds like an easy life. This code is Made specifically for you guys, but be fast because at the end of August the code will expire. So to check out audio, click the link down below. And now let's get back to Premiere. For the third and most advanced audio trick, we're gonna create an underwater sound effect. The original audio of this clip isn't that great, so let's get rid of it by holding down Alt and selecting it. Then hit delete on your keyboard. We're gonna sound design this video completely from scratch. First think of what sounds you actually need. Of course, water, a splash, maybe some bubbles, a little background music coming from the boat, whatever, as long as it fits your video. You can find these sounds online, but of course, I got them from audio. Once you have all your sounds underneath the video, we're gonna mix them. The first step is balancing the volume. You can do that by dragging the volume line on the clips up or down, or by simply selecting it and hitting G on your keyboard. Here you can change the gain as well. Now level all the clips individually. When that's done, we're gonna make it sound like the viewer is also underwater. I am under the water. 
please help me. To do that, we're gonna apply an effect on all these clips simultaneously. This is kinda hard because we can't turn them into a nested sequence. Or wait, maybe we can. Select all the clips, including the video. If you don't have a video in a timeline, go to the project window and click the new item button. Choose adjustment layer, click OK, and then simply drag it on top of the audio clips. Now select all the clips and right click it. Then choose nest, call it audio or something, then click OK. Now as you can see, the clips are still in the timeline. So simply select them and hit delete. Now go back to the project window and drag the nest back in the timeline. Of course, make sure the insert and override button is enabled, otherwise it will import the content from inside the nest. Now hold down alt and select the video layer on the nest and delete it. Now you have all the audio in one nested sequence. If the layer is empty like this, you can always right click it and choose render and replace. But keep in mind, if you do this, you can't go back and change the audio because it's not in a nested sequence anymore. Now to create the actual underwater effect, head over to the effects library and find the low pass filter. Then drag it on the audio clip. Now when you're underwater, only the strong and long sound waves will be hearable. These are the low frequencies. The higher frequencies aren't strong enough to travel underwater because the sound waves are simply too short, we can't hear them. That's why we need to use a low pass filter because we're only letting the low and strong frequencies pass. In the effect controls, grab the playhead and set it right before she hits the water. Go to the cutoff control and increase it to 20,000 Hz. This is approximately the maximum frequencies a human can hear. Set a keyframe and move further in time until she's completely underwater. Now decrease the cutoff to around 1000 Hz. We're animating this to make the transition from above water to underwater super smooth. And that looks and sounds amazing. Next, to level up your edits even more, it's super important to make your voice work with the background music. Good thing you'll learn everything about that in the video on my left. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.